these ones done yesterday. Thank you to my Patreon girlies for giving me the ideas. I wonder, I wonder. It's pretty tinted, isn't it? Okay, it's actually quite soft. Usually when you see brushes that are all colourful like this, they're kind of... This is Jen. It's evening's video, I will be doing another double unboxing. We have one here and one here for a look fantastic. And it will be Look Fantastic's January and February boxes. The box. Look Fantastic is like an actual website as well, like for online shopping for different brands, like beauty brands and stuff. Has a lot on there. I think I've bought from them like maybe two or three times in general, but um, I do just enjoy these boxes so much, so I mostly just get the subscription box. Okay, but before we get into unboxing these two boxes, gonna spend a few minutes making sleepy cardboard sounds. If you just want to see what's inside, feel free to skip ahead. Timestamps are down below. Otherwise, So now that we are hopefully nice and relaxed, we can have a little look at January's box. So there are no like inside boxes with like designs on them or anything, it's straight tissue paper. So let's just pop it open. Oh, I recognize one or two things. I recognize that this is a gua sha. So eco, um, I've seen things from them before as well, like um, beauty accessories and stuff. Nails ink, yes. This works. That's the pillow spray that I can kind of already smell. 
that kind of dusky lavender smell that comes from these products and I just, oh, it's really not my thing. Well, Ida, um, I know the brand and there's like a little tube there, I don't know what it is. Oh, I think it's a Dr. Brand lip thing, but it might be coloured, so it's not my thing. And then a bottle, could be hair stuff, could be body stuff, don't know, we'll see. Okay, so let me pop this all to the side and let's have a look at everything one by one. So let's start with the Gua Sha. something that will go with it. Usually when they give you this kind of like skin massage, um, like face massage tool, they give you like a product that you can use it with. Like I think you can use it by itself, but like I wouldn't use that on like completely dry skin. <laughs> that would be a little abrasive maybe. Okay. I think maybe the Huida product is, is it Felida? like German, like the W, or is it Welida? I think it might be Felida. Rich intensive skincare. Yeah, I think these were given like as a set kind of thing, like to use together. We'll look at that just after. So, so eco, so eco jade stone gua sha. Elevate your skincare routine with our Jade Stone Gua Crafted from high quality jade, its gentle curves and edges are designed to promote circulation, reduce puffiness, and enhance lymphatic drainage, revealing a revitalized complexion. Embrace the tradition of self-care and indulge in a soothing ritual that brings both relaxation and radiance to your skin. Okay, we have some steps here. One, apply a face oil or serum. So I'm getting this one. Step two, use the gua sha in the direction shown on the face. So going outwards, it seems. Let me just let that focus. I don't know if you can see the little white arrows just going up the forehead to the side, going outwards, and going up the neck. And then step three, experience a radiant glow. Grow, glow. <laughs> I don't know if step three is really needed. That's just kind of the effect. <laughs> so I'm not sure if that counts as a step three for me. We plant one tree for every gift set. So this is a gift set. I think it's just a product. Okay, so let me pop this open. Um, I already have like even probably like two, possibly three of these for myself. Um, like made with different materials. I don't use them very much. If I'm doing like a fun like spa night with my daughter or something, I will bring them out. But um, otherwise, I don't need anymore. So. This will be getting popped into eBay boxes, but since it is something that you can wash, you know, it's a tool, I can still show you and still put it as a sealed product, I guess, like sealed, unused product on eBay, so. So it comes in a little bit of tissue paper. It's kind of been ripped through. And it is that kind of gua sha shape. That's like a little red bit there, just at the C. I don't know if that's part of the printing, like the natural printing process, or if it's in the, the stone. I think probably in the, in the printing. smooth and cold. You can feel like it's a stone, not plastic, you know. And 
I don't know the brands of the ones that I have. It's possible I do have the same brand one already. Nail hardener. 
her sounds like probably something you may need after like an entire year of um, old professional manicures. I wonder if it's gonna smell bad. Yeah, it smells very bad. <laughs> but I'm sure that either it will get popped into an EV box or I will keep it aside for me. Okay. The next item is not green or white, which is a shame because look. <laughs> we have the Dr. Lip Superfood Elderberry Tint. Well, that sounds lovely, doesn't it? Lips, cheeks, and eyelids. Yeah, no way I'm using that on my eyelids. Um, this, actually, this product that is just for lips and it's like transparent, no color, no scent or anything. The like lanolin one, I love for like overnight. Um, Dr. Lip, a 100% natural multi use moisturizing tint made with plant pigment, rich in natural antioxidants, antioxidants, not antioxidants, free from heavy metals, famous for its ultra hydrating and non-staining effect. Being naturalists, we've used 100% recyclable bioplastic tubes made from sugarcane. Join us in the stripped back movement. Okay, it sounds pretty cool. I just, I don't like tinted lip balms or just like lip glosses and things like that in general. But I do like this stuff when it's not tinted, so I wonder, I wonder. It's pretty tinted, isn't it? Well, I do like a lip stain, so the fact that it's non-staining isn't actually much of a positive for me. Okay, so the colour is there, but not like crazy. Hmm, I just put a touch. It is, like it feels like the same formula as the non-tinted version. doesn't smell of anything. I don't know. I'll just have to like try it out and see. But I guess it's not one I would use overnight <laughs> for like a lip mask because obviously it's tinted <laughs> and then my pillow will be. But yeah, if a tinted lip balm type product is going to work for me, it's going to be this one probably. Okay. So lastly, we have hair. <laughs> I knew it was like a hair thing or like a body spray. So it's Philip Kingsley, which we get a lot of in these boxes, like in little tubes for like styling creams and stuff like that. So I recognize the brand instantly, but I don't like use it or anything. So I can't tell you if it's good or not. I imagine it's good, but I can't tell you. So it is a maximizer. A root boosting spray. Oh, this might be interesting for me. A root boosting spray, volumizing. It doesn't say anything about it though. Are we gonna get anything under there? Is that just like ingredients? Mm, made in the UK. Yeah, I'm not getting any like what to do. I'm guessing you would just use it like um. You would use like a dry shampoo spray to give yourself volume. I might actually try this. I may have to look up how to use it though. <laughs> Is it one of those products that you need to like blow dry your hair afterwards to actually get like the effect or not? I don't know. Could be. Okay, a hair product that I'm actually considering. <laughs> it's not that common. In these boxes. Happens from time to time, but not very often. Okay, so that is everything for the January box. What do you guys think? It's not a bad box, is it? Obviously with the like 
extra because you have six products instead of the usual five in the other boxes without like a huge difference in price. Um, I think it's pretty good. I like the tool. Everybody can use it. It's not like difficult to use. You can use it um, with different types of skincare. Like you don't have to have a specific um, product to go with it. You know, it's going to work with any serum or like, like, like moisturizer and stuff like that. This, no thank you, but I'm sure a lot of people enjoy this. So it's a good product to have. Just really not for me. This I'm actually quite interested in. and I think it's actually a better product than just getting another nail polish that looks the same as the other ones. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want another red nail polish. I don't want another nude, you know? This is actually interesting. Cool. This one, we'll see. I mean, why not? I can try it. I like the, the brand, so it could work for me. And then this one, actually interesting. For a flat-haired girly like me. So yeah, pretty cool. So, I think my favourite thing from this is probably this. Even if I probably won't use it for a long time, um, if I decide to keep it, I'll be like happy to find it. That's cool. Although the, the gua sha is always a nice thing to receive. Okay. So, don't forget, this is not the end of the video. This is the halfway mark. We still have our second box to unbox. I'm really enjoying doing these double unboxings, by the way. It's really cool to see two months, like, just one after the other. Um, it's nice to be able to, like, compare them, because often I don't remember <laughs> what was in last month's box. So, let me grab the contents of the February box. And this one also has the little card with the little QR code that you can have a look at if you wish. I um, realized when I was checking out the January box that the January uh, magazine is like offline already. So I think they just have one, um, one up at a time maybe. I don't know. So yeah, the box. They don't have specific names. The cards are just the same. It's a bit boring. Okay. So in this one, it smells like lavender. I don't know if it's like the lavender from this one. Like, I mean, the boxes are just sitting next to me, so I don't know. Or if there's something lavender in here. I really hope not. Nothing looks lavender. Everything just looks a bit pink. So I don't know. What do we have? Lottie London. Nice. Christoph Robin. That is the brand of my favorite hair scrub. Scalp scrub. Scalp scrub. Um, this looks like a moisturizing massage bar. Lavender. The lab is coming from here. Oh no. Um, what makeup brush? Always love the makeup brushes. And then, what's that? Rose gel mask? That looks interesting. And this, I have no idea what it is. Oh, it says aromatherapy on it too. There, there's too much aromatherapy going on right now. It's too much for me. And I haven't even opened anything. Okay. So let me just pop all this pink stuff to the side and we can have a look at everything. Okay, in no specific order. I'm gonna go for the Christoph Robin first. <laughs> it's a nice little pot with a textured lid. That already makes me happy. And that's got nothing to do with the product. Okay, so what is this? Is cleansing volumizing paste with rose extract. I always want to say Christopher Robin. <laughs> Took me a while to like get that stuck in my head that it's Christoph Robin and not Christopher Robin. <laughs> so 
of bad lavant volumizon directions apply a tablespoon size onto wet hair and work through in sections gently massage focusing on the roots add water massage then rinse to intensify results leave the paste on the hair for two minutes before rinsing Follow with the volumizing conditioner and the volumizing mist. It's all about volume, guys, today. Made in Italy. So it's a volumizing, cleansing, volumizing paste. So does that mean this is instead of shampoo? Because it says to follow with the volumizing conditioner and the mist. And it is cleansing be in place of shampoo but they haven't called it a shampoo <laughs> I don't know I don't have the conditioner or the mist but I do have a Philip Kingsley one so maybe these can be used in conjunction and I will have like mega volume in my hair I'll be like Miley <laughs> what was, what was it um, the Grammys where she has like super expecting like a white creamy color maybe a touch pink <laughs> yeah it smells like that really nice sweet rose scent kind of like the shampoo their shampoo it smells really nice just looks pretty gunky <laughs> okay I think I'm gonna definitely enjoy trying this out for the results, I have no idea. <laughs> I like the fact that it's cleansing though. Cleansing, volumizing paste. I feel like things that are volumizing seem like they would leave stuff like behind and this is cleansing so I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I like their products in general though so could be fine. Okay so let's I'm gonna look at this bar, even though I don't want to. Grum, um, I've had some products from them before and I have also not used them, but not because of like the scents or anything, but just because I'm not really into bars. Just like even normal bars of soap, I'm just not into it. Okay, so moisture, massage bar, nourish and hydrate, lavender and neroli. I don't know what neroli is, but I know what lavender is. <laughs> Handmade in England, 100% plastic free. Okay. Yeah, it's it's awful to me. The, the lavender scent is really something that I just can't stand. So, unfortunately, your chance to transition from tension to tranquility. Aches, pains, and dry skin will melt away when faced with this replenishing blend of butters, oils, and sultry aromas. Okay, that actually sounds really lovely. I find it really such a shame that I can't handle lavender. Direction. The bar will begin to melt when placed directly onto dry skin. Wait until a sufficient amount has melted onto the area, then massage this in. Try warming between dry hands before placing on the body. Reapply as often or as little as you like. Okay, let me just show you what the bar looks like. I'm just not going to touch it because I don't looks like that. There's like already some on the lid. I hope I didn't get any on me. No, I don't think I did. There we go. Okay, what do we have next? Let's grab this little pink one. Looks cute. So Peter Tom 
helmets are all that this rings a bell. Um, I wonder if I've had this exact one or if it I think like it was a different color, the one that we got either last month or the month before. Clinical skin care, rose stem cell, anti-aging gel mask. Isolates and replicates five perfect rose plant stem cells and four nourishing rose extracts. That sounds very pretty, doesn't it? Apply a generous coat onto clean skin. Allow to remain on for 10 minutes. Rinse with cool water. Hmm, like not lukewarm, cool water. Use two to three times a week or daily, depending on your skin needs. Okay, you can use it daily. I doubt this is going to be much though. <laughs> like how many mils have we got here? 14 mils and you have to buy a generous amount, a generous coat. You can probably only use it for a week then if you're using it every day. Um, this is sealed, but it is something that I'm interested in. It's something you need to rinse, so I'm not going to put it on my hand right now, but I will give it a smell. Although it's going to just smell like roses. I get the rose smell, but it's like very like intense clean rather than sweet rose, if you know what I mean. So yeah. This smells nicer than this. Let me smell it again. Yeah, that smells nicer. Enjoy. Okay. So let me grab this little pot. It's pink powder. Ready, set, go. Setting powder in brightening pink. Mm. <laughs> it's, I mean, it can't be pink on the skin, can it? I use like an under concealer of green to get rid of like ruddy patches, like pinkness. So I don't know how much pink powder is going to look good on me. But it might be. Maybe we'll like balance out the fact that I put the green on then, <laughs> but like in a good way. Like you remove um, parts like under the cheek, between like the nose and the cheek area, you know, like the triangle, um, with the green to stop like any blotchy redness, and then you pop blush on after to kind of like bring back the color, but like in the right place. Kind of Maybe it'll be a bit like that. Obviously, I can't really test this <laughs> because, um, you know, it doesn't really work on hands or anything, but I will definitely give it a test though because I actually like the transparent one, like the white looking. Um, it's not something I use on a daily basis, though. I wipe it on the, <laughs> that lip stuff from the last box. Um, I don't use it on a daily basis, though, the powder, because um, it's pretty cold at the moment. In wintertime, I don't need much powdering. But in the summer, yes. So I'll bring this back out then. Maybe in springtime. And give it a test. I've seen, like, powders like that are colored, like foundation colored, like light and medium and stuff, dark. Um, transparent, I usually stick to, then I've seen like yellow ones and pink ones, so be nice to test a bunch out. And Lottie London I do like, so that will be coming with me. <laughs> These three are coming with me. Okay, and oh yeah, I have fluffy blender. They are my favorite type of brushes. Big fluffy brush. I hope it's a nice fluffy, fluffy, fluffy one. I love blending. Um, 
blending eyeshadow with a big fluffy brush. Something very satisfying about it. Okay, so Spectrum. What have we had from Spectrum before? I feel like we got those little powder puffs, the little triangular ones. Were they the multicolored ones? I feel like, like tie-dye or something. Hypoallergenic bristles, vegan, cruelty-free, and professional performance. Sounds good. of these boxes is probably pretty worth it. Even if I just use these four, the price of the box is still good, like, for what I got, so I'm happy with that. What's my favorite? Probably this and this and this. All three of them. <laughs> this I don't know if it will be a favorite, but I will like using it for sure. So let me just grab everything from the two boxes and squish it all together and have a look at that. The hair stuff, the nail stuff, ah, this work stuff, <laughs> and the gua sha. Okay, so that is everything all together. For January and February. So there are some obvious, like, ones that I'm not interested in, and there are all three of them <laughs> here. The lavender, like, aromatherapy stuff. All this can just get squished over. <laughs> I 
I like most of the other stuff. Um, but for myself personally, I think probably still these three. Maybe, hmm, like maybe this. Let me make my own box. Would it definitely be this and this and this and this, this. Maybe this, because I'm going to use these two together. Although I like the gua sha and the skin food. I won't be using them. So for me personally, this would be my six product box. The perfect little box for me. <laughs> Actually, thinking about it, like if you're subscribed to like maybe two boxes and like maybe two friends could subscribe to two different boxes and then like share, I think that would be quite good. Because although they're good because they're very different, like the very different products in each of them, it's still kind of difficult to like everything, you know? Especially if you're sensitive to scents or don't like things on your lips, you know, that kind of thing. I think everybody has their little quirks about like products and stuff. Okay, yeah, that's my perfect little box. Okay, so I'm going to grab one of these items for the middle of a nice relaxing, cozy blanket scrunching outro. Of course, I picked the little pink pot of Christoph Robin. It's perfect for the middle of a blanket scrunching outro. Who thinks the blanket looks like sand? A lot of people have said video here for this evening. I hope that you enjoy this unboxing, this double double unboxing. Well not double double, just double. This double will look fantastic. Unboxing. That you found it relaxing. It may be a little interesting to see. made it to this part of the video without falling asleep, I would like you to pop a pink emoji in the comments. One or two or three of your favorite pink emojis. Because I feel like all the fun stuff in this box was pink. Just pop that in there with your regular comments. Or if you are very, very sleepy, far too sleepy, you can just pop that pink emoji in there by itself. I'm not you. through all the concert tickets, things like that. Loads of fun stuff. All ad free of course. So yeah, it's always available. I don't really take any breaks from that. I hope 
every single one of my lovely, lovely sleepy squirrels are well. Wherever you are in the world, whatever's happening around you, I hope that you can find Lovely. 